Evening everyone, or good day, depending on what part of the world you're in. We're going to do a happiness Q&A. So over the last couple of weeks, while I've been away, I've been getting lots of questions and I wanted to go through some of these to sort of, uh, well, answer them. Let's see how we can answer them. Let's just get started, shall we? First question, and this is from someone uh, I do some mentoring for. What happens when, um, you know, there's these type of people who want you to fail so that they can pick you up? How do you handle those type of people? Let me just answer this in the context of what we talked about before. Knowing who you are, having clear mind, clear mindedness, and having someone to support you to get there. Sometimes you have, we all have friends, we have people in our circle that we ask advice for. We ask advice from, we ask support from. Kids playing. Uh, we ask support from, and sometimes those people give us advice we like, sometimes they give us advice we don't like. And a lot, and sometimes, and this is just playing devil's advocate, people can give us advice or have been giving us advice and we're so in our own heads we don't realize how much advice they've given us we haven't taken. And so what someone will do, someone who loves you or cares for you will let you fail. They can come in and help you because usually when you're at rock bottom, you're willing to listen perhaps, um, or at least that's the, 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 the logic in some people's heads. So um, that's probably why certain people do that, though there are people who want to be a hero and want to come in and help you. But to be perfectly honest, you can't necessarily guarantee when you go in to help someone, you can help them or you're able to even help them. So I don't think there's a lot of calculation on someone's part about let me wait them fail so I can come in and save them. However, all of this is kind of moot in the context of at least if you know where you, who you are, where you're going, and you have the clearness of mind to sort of understand how you get in your own way, a lot of times you can find advice to help you overcome when you fail. Um, you'll have friends who are there along the way who give you insight that you are clear-minded enough to, to, to not take, but to see for what it is. One of the challenges and one of the reasons I talk about spending time to clear your mind is everything we see, everything we hear is reflected or is, is, is imported or sucked in by our ego. Our ego sees it, sees it in the context of how our ego sees the world and then translates that, absorbs it, uses it in whatever way or ignores it. And a lot of times our ego gets in the way. Our fear of losing a loved one, losing a job, losing respect will sometimes prevent us from seeing advice or seeing the world for how it actually happens to be. So if you are involved in something, you're scared it's going to fail, a lot of times we're our own enemy. We think that this is the only thing we can do in life and we put so much pressure into it, we don't listen to advice. Whether the person gives you advice that helps you or not, uh, or wants to be a hero or not, is irrelevant. Um, if you put yourself in a position to where you're always getting advice and getting insight from the world around you, you won't be in a situation where someone has to come in and help you, help me to rescue you. You'll have problems, inevitably, but there'll be things you picked up along the way, along the journey, you can say, oh yeah, um, let me take a page out of that book, etc." So, I got a lot of emails lately like, can you uh, help me get to Japan? Can you provide me with a job? Can you help me find work, etc. Now, I like people asking for advice, especially if I can help them in some way. And let me just give you some, 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 some advice about looking for work or asking for help from other people. In general, people help you because there's something in it for them. They either can get some sense of value, something that they sense of pride even. I don't mean money, but pride. Have, you know, They can get a sense of, I've helped someone, a sense of charity, a sense of friendship, a sense of brotherhood, whatever it happens to be. But people also don't help you because they don't know what's in it for them. They don't know what they can lose or they perceive some sort of loss. So for instance, we don't go into a job interview without a CV, right? Um, a CV acts as an instrument to give us credibility. Um, it doesn't necessarily build trust, but if your CV and your interview match, that gives you a little bit more credibility. You say things that are different from your resume, so I'm like, hmm. So when you meet someone online and they don't know you, you have no CV with them, right? You want to build up your credibility with that person. So the first thing you need to do is to introduce yourself. Not so much what your situation is, why you need a job, etc. but introduce who you are. You know, letting the person understand something about who you are that perhaps they can connect to. The irony is you never know what someone will connect to, what someone will find interesting about you. So one of the most 
useful, I found effective approaches is not even to talk about yourself. Ask them questions about themselves. And then based on those questions, you'll find something you may have in common with them. And then you start a conversation about something you have in common. Build common interest. Um, and so that's my, that's my primary advice. If you're looking to get to Japan, find people who are in Japan and take an interest in them. And aside, I was watching a video about a man who was accused, uh, falsely accused of a crime. Eventually he is, he is cleared and everything like that. But one thing he realized was who his friends were and who his friends were not. When things went bad, this person who had lots of attention, lots of money, lots of support, no one called him. Very few people called and said, are you okay? Right? So he realized who his friends happened to be. And he knew who they were because they took an interest in him. And so he obviously takes interest in them as well. So point is, want someone to help you get to know them. Show interest in them. Don't try to get them interested in you. They want to find a job with a higher salary. Don't we all, okay? Including yours truly. So, um, someone's trying to ask me this question. How do you get a salary higher than average salary? If you are thinking you want to be higher than average, you will, if you find out the salary of the person next to you or your boss or whatever, you're going to be have less than somebody. And if your idea is average, average is always changing. People always have different types of salaries. You will never be satisfied. So before you even go looking for a job where you need higher than average salary, you need to start from the, from, you need to reassess the question, reassess your search. It's not about the money because there is money. You will make money, right? The question is how much is enough? And not only that, more so than that, what job do you wish to do, right? So if you're doing a job that you love and the salary is low, then look for another job in that industry, right? If you believe your job, your, your salary is below average for what you do. So just get out there, get in the market, and you will find a job with a higher salary if you're good at what you do. As far as trying to find a job outside your industry and try to get a higher salary, that's luck, right? If you don't have the skills to do what you see the people over there making the big money make, you're gonna have to hustle, scam, or something to get there. So you have to start at the bottom. And starting at the bottom, you have less than average salary. But there are people starting at the bottom who are happy because they know it's leading somewhere. So you have to know, okay, where am I going? Again, same thing. Where am I going, right? Try to understand how to get there and then move that way. But the thing is, where you're going is be someplace you want to go because along the way, there will be problems and challenges and headaches that if it's not what you really want to do, you will give up. It's like a diet. We all want to lose weight or we all want to get in shape, but it is not easy, right? And you need people to support you, you need people to hold you accountable and you have to hold yourself accountable as well. But you can't do it alone. I mean, not to answer your question, but you really have to think about the way you ask that. It really starts with saying, what am I looking for? Because one day your salary will be below average, right? And if you're chasing money, you're just not going to be happy. So I don't want to, I don't want to give advice to someone to say, how do you keep finding money, right? Find what you love to do. Find people who are willing to support you to do it and you will make that money, so to speak. So another way of asking a question is, you know, you work in IT. What do you like doing in IT? What are the things you're strong at? What are the things you, you failed at doing? What are the things you cannot do? That's clear, that's good to know, you know. Good to know and good to share with people. I'm not good at this, I'm not good at that, but I'm good at this and good at this, that type of thing. Um, but if you're looking for, in the end, if you're looking for a, good, a better job, when you go to the interviews, and after you've introduced yourself and talked about what's on your CV, ask the people in the interview, what are the problems they're facing? What are then they you have some problems. Then you can look at your skills and say, okay, I can help you solve that problem. That's how you get the average, a higher than average salary by being a problem solver. And I'll end with this. I wanna say a thank you out there to Kazia for helping me. Um, He's built an affinity because he's able to provide me with support on these videos and I couldn't uh, get the energy to do it if I didn't know he was waiting for me to, uh, to uh, finish these things so he can, he can help with the, the editing and review. Uh, so thank you very much, everybody. Sorry if I rambled a little bit, but I wanted to answer a lot of questions that have been, that have been piling up and I'm not a short-winded person. So apologies there.